Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, normally when I feature Alliance War reward submissions, it's at least platinum tier. But, you know, more often than not, master tier. This is the first time in years and years and years that I have featured somebody in the gold tier. And this isn't just gold one or two. This is gold three. So sometimes I do videos for, like, uncollected players, right? Sometimes I do videos for conqueror players, proven players, cavalier players, etc., and I don't know what this summoner is. I guess I should have asked, but gold three is not platinum. It's not master. And yet this is a success story. This is a positive affirming story for what can happen with Alliance War rewards. So let's see first off what you get now for gold three. Still pretty dang good, you know? Um, we are seeing a five-star Nexus a tier five class catalyst fragment crystal, I believe, two tier five basic and four tier two alpha. That is so much better than anything I ever sought after in platinum three and gold one when I did Alliance War over three years ago. Uh, it's nice to see. It's really nice to see. Because if you get lucky, especially with the six star shards, you have almost enough tier uh, 2 alpha and tier 5 basic to take up your 6 star to rank 2. And obviously you need other uh, rank up items besides that. A ton of tier 4 basic, obviously the tier 4 class catalyst of that specific champion's class. But still, this is great for gold 3. Props to Kabam for improving their skills and rewarding their players with better compensation for Alliance War. Uh, with that being said... Let's just see what he pulls. He's only got 26 crystals. Starts out with the five star. In the five star Nexus, he's level 53, you know? So this really could help a level 53 account. And Hulkbuster is gonna be great. I love my six star Hulkbuster. I wouldn't take him to rank four over somebody like Ultron, but he is not just a tank. He is somebody that can have so much unique utility from the power drain to the shock uh, damage. I love his special three. Like, Hulkbuster is so much better than he used to be. And isn't it cool that with the Nexus, you've got Iron Package and Rhino, two of the worst champions in the game collectively, though I still actually hate fighting both of them. Uh, but Hulkbuster is in the middle. And I haven't watched this yet, but I'm guessing he chooses Hulkbuster because that is the, the play here. So, what's he gonna choose? There we go. There's a little bit of, no. No, what? I just did this epic rant, at least epic to me, rant about how great Hulkbuster was and you awakened your iron package instead? Am I the only one who thinks that's crazy? This is how you know I don't watch these beforehand. How it's, uh, you know, really a genuine process. It's been a long time since I saw somebody do that. I don't know if they've, had, they've ever done that specifically. All right, but they have a six star. And that's really what this video is about. A six star. Because he sent me some exciting emojis with the assumption that the six star that he got from Gold 3 Rewards was enough to get really excited about. And six star basic is still the biggest gamble in the game when it comes to, well, how many average to trash to meme champions you can get. But he has this six star basic. And let's see what he lands on. Havoc, double Havoc, Emma, and wouldn't you know it, nope, OG, Captain America. It is six star Kitty Pride. A champion that so many people are still hunting for that are, let's just say, not in Gold 3 alliances or not level 53. And he's got a really solid roster already starting. But this is, um, wow, one tier 4 basic away. Thank you, Alliance War rewards otherwise. He also has 6-star Rentra. Who would have thought it? So, I still can't believe this decision, though. I mean, can you believe that? That seems crazy to me. Am I off my rocker? Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks again to Mr. Bounty Guard for the submission. 
This video had a little bit of everything, didn't it?